On November 17, 2020, a competition covering 4,186 universities and attracting 6.31 million people from 117 countries and regions was held at South China University of Technology. This competition is the sixth China International Internet Plus competition, which is full of geniuses, but the one on the podium was a young girl with a tender face. She is Song Wenqing, who was born in 2000 and was only 20 years old that year, but she is already a doctor of Nanjing University. In addition, the project in charge of her team focuses on 5G chips, and she has also become a rising star in China's chip field. Such a girl reminds us of Huawei's Genius Youth Program, and Song is a qualified genius. In addition, the direction of Song's research is just in line with Huawei. So, will Song Wenqing be selected by Huawei's Genius Youth Plan to help Huawei break through 5G chips? How did she become a rare genius at such a young age? Is it because of talent or hard work? Hi! Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. Song Wenqing's parents were engaged in mechanical work, so she was very interested in electronic machinery since she was a child, and often disassembled various electronic devices at home. Her parents did not scold her for this, but carefully told her some basic knowledge of electronic machinery. In addition, her learning ability and memory are also amazing. As if it was a gift from God, she could quickly absorb a lot of knowledge that her parents explained to her, and she also learned the knowledge from books much faster than her peers. At a very young age, she became a well-known child prodigy. When she was six years old, Song's mother took her to the primary school to sign up. After some simple inquiries from the teacher, everyone found that her knowledge far exceeded the level of first-grade students. After evaluation, it was found that there was no problem in the third grade. Therefore, six-year-old Song Wenqing has already started the third grade of primary school when other children are still in the first grade of primary school. Moreover, when she finished the fourth grade of elementary school, the teacher was surprised to find that in just two years of study, she had mastered a lot of sixth grade knowledge. So, when she was eight years old, she took the entrance exam for primary school to junior high school and was officially admitted to the local middle school. In the third year of junior high school, she was successfully admitted to a local key high school. In her first year of high school, she took the college entrance examination, but the grade was much lower than what she expected. Despite frustration, Song Wenqing did not give up her studies, but kept working hard all the time. In the second year, she took the college entrance examination again, and this time, she got a good score of 609 points, and was admitted to the youth class of Southeast University with an excellent score of 55 points above the key undergraduate line. At this time, she was only 13. Perhaps, such an experience will make us feel that she is an out-and-out -out genius, but we cannot ignore Song's self-discipline and hard work since childhood. Moreover, after going to college, she was also confused. So, what is she confused about? Please watch the following part. After entering the university, it may be because her high school knowledge is not solid. In the final exam of the first year, her grades are very unsatisfactory, and many subjects have just reached the pass line. In fact, this also proves one thing. Song is not what we call a genius. She may be a little smarter in ordinary people, but she is not born with it. Most of her achievements come from her own efforts. After the results came out, Song Wenqing did not feel discouraged, but redoubled his efforts. Unlike many classmates who go to the movies and play basketball on weekends, she devotes all her time to her own studies and strives to absorb all kinds of knowledge. By chance, she saw a promotional paper posted on the corner of the campus, and she found that a laboratory was recruiting interns. Unexpectedly, this opportunity brought her into the road of scientific research. It turns out that this laboratory is the state key laboratory of mobile communications of Southeast University, and the team leader is the famous Professor Zhong Chuan. After communicating with Song, Professor Zhong Chuan admired the young girl very much. He believed that Song had great scientific research potential. Therefore, she was invited to participate in the Leeds Research Group of Southeast University, which is mainly engaged in research related to wireless power technology. In this period of work experience in the laboratory, it has greatly helped Song's later scientific research work. 
However, due to the heavy academic work and the work of the scientific research group at the time, Song often stayed up late. As Mendeleev said, that's what a genius is. If you work hard all your life, you will become a genius. Her efforts were not wasted. She achieved excellent grades in her junior year and published an SCI paper in her senior year. SCI is the most authoritative paper database in the world, and the ability to publish papers on it also proves Song's academic level. During her postgraduate studies, she published several papers in SCI. After graduating with a master's degree, Song Wenqing was 19 years old. She chose to continue her studies on the road of academic research, so she was admitted to Nanjing University with excellent results, and was ready to obtain the doctoral degree. At this time, another important milestone in her life came. She joined the team of Professor Lee, Department of Electronic Science and Technology, to study reconfigurable chips for artificial intelligence. After joining the team, she was the youngest in the team. But she doesn't relax her requirements, but requires herself as strictly as the rest of the team. She once said, in addition to being in class, I am facing a computer in the laboratory. A wrong code can lead to the entire chip design error. At that time, the task of studying Chinese chips was onerous and arduous. On the one hand, it is limited by foreign countries and lacks core field technologies, and on the other hand, it also lacks mature industrial skills. However, she has always been confident in her field of research and hopes to make useful chips. She also has clear goals for her future development. She once said that after graduating with a doctorate, she may go to colleges and universities to continue scientific research, or she may go to a company like Huawei to conduct scientific research. Of course, one thing is that it will not change. She will continue to do more things that are meaningful to the country and society. This is also the value of her life. In fact, Song Wenqing's story can give us a lot of inspiration. She went to primary school at the age of six. She entered junior high school at the age of 8, university at the age of 13, and a doctorate at the age of 19. From elementary school to university, Song Wenqing walked much faster than others, which also led to her confusion for a certain period of time because of her lack of solid foundation. But it is undeniable that under the circumstance of her own weak foundation, she was more self-disciplined and hard-working, which is something that many people can't do. As Edison said, genius is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. From Song Wenqing's story, this sentence was verified again. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. See you.